What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is obviously Grim and today I want to help you guys figure out if Mortal Online 2 is actually worth your time. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now I do just want to say before we get into the nitty gritty of this video, thank you guys for helping me get my last video over a thousand views. That is amazing, you guys are awesome. And because of that, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for a Mortal Online 2 Steam Key. All you have to do is listen for a key phrase in this video. That's a key phrase that's going to be somewhere in this video. And you can check the description for more details on that. But all you really got to do is watch the video and take a look for that key phrase I mentioned. Now let's go ahead and get into it. Now we do quickly need to talk about the current state of the game because I will get comments if I don't. So let's go ahead and get that out of the way really quick. The game's launch. It wasn't the best. There were bugs. We were riddled with crashes and a horrendous queue time that, at least for the main server, is still plaguing us. That being said, Starvolt has been completely transparent this entire time. And they did fix the queuing system for the starting area Haven earlier this week. So that should point out that they are capable of fixing this issue. So I really don't see it as something that's going to persist, at least not in the way that it is now. Starvald has had success with dealing with these kind of issues in Mortal Online 1 in the past, so really this isn't something that should even be considered when you are thinking about whether or not to buy this game. Just take a look at their Discord and you'll see they are competent. So let's go ahead and move past this. Let's start off with the combat system. Mortal Online 2's combat system is directional based, meaning if somebody is blocking from the left, you have to swing at them from a different direction in order to hit them. And vice versa, if they are swinging at you from the right, you would have to block in that direction in order to not get hit. This really lends itself to making the fights feel a little more active, and you actually have to think about what you're doing if you want to stay alive or hurt somebody. The one annoying thing I found with the combat system is it can be a little touchy. If you try and block left, but you move your mouse slightly downwards, you are going to block in the wrong direction and you're going to get hit and the same thing happens when you swing sometimes. Still though, it's not enough to deter me from wanting to get into a fight when I get online. I actually still look forward to it, so the combat system in my mind is a positive. One of the first things I really looked at when I started playing this game is the AI. PvE content is important to a game, so when it comes to AI, you don't want something that's just going to be dumb. In Immortal Online 2, they have some that are intuitive, now, unlike The Walking Dead, the bandits are intuitive because they are humanoids. They should be able to think for themselves. Now, keep in mind, Mortal Online 2 has a directional combat system. So when this bandit runs up to me, I'm able to get a hit on him, but he actually does switch where he is blocking to block my hit. He changes sides to keep himself from getting hurt. Now, that is actually really cool. On top of that, he's not just hacking and slashing at me. He will change up where he is swinging from where I am blocking to hit me. So if I'm blocking left, he will try and swing right. And on top of that, instead of just sitting here and dying, he does try and get away from me when he is hurt. So this really makes the AI feel alive. The next thing we're going to talk about is Mortal Online 2's crafting system. Now, the crafting system is extremely unique. You can have two people make the exact same item, but they're using different materials and they're going to yield different results. Now to give you an example of what I mean by that, I made three recurve longbows, each with different materials. Now the first one was made completely out of dapplewood, the second one was com made completely out of bone tissue, and the third one a combination of the two as you just seen. Now the dapplewood long recurve bow has a max range of 34.78 and a strength requirement of 83.49. The bone tissue one has a 64.53 max range and a strength requirement of 123.39. Different materials yield different results, but you can combine those materials to get something in between the two. And that's what I did with the third one, a dapplewood long recurve bow that also used bone tissue. It has a max range of 49.80 and a strength requirement of 100.05. Now the reason I'm showing you this is to show you that you can use several different materials, you can combine materials, and you can yield something that is completely unique to you. For instance, somebody can have the exact same longbow type as you, but it has completely different stats and a different look. 
so nobody's going to be completely the same, and that makes Mortal Online 2's crafting system a positive, in my mind, for this game. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is the full loot PvP aspect of Mortal Online 2. Now this is something I've always been on the fence about. On one hand, when you're running around, if somebody tries to attack you and you get to kill them, then great, you get their loot. That's awesome. They deserve it, they tried to kill you, right? But if they kill you, then all your hard work, all the loot that you have, everything you've crafted, can be taken, and most likely it will be. And that's the thing that's truly unique about Mortal Online 2 from other games that have done this in the past. Once you leave the starting area, Haven, you are not safe anymore. You can be attacked, you can attack other people. That being said, there are consequences to doing bad deeds in Mortal Online 2. They have a criminal flagging system that will let you know who is good, bad, and a complete and utter murderer. A blue name tag means the player is good, a gray name tag means they have done some bad things, and a red name tag, like I said before, means they are a complete and utter murderer, stay away from that person. On top of that, each city has a reputation system. When you do bad things in that city, the reputation will go down, the guards in that city can attack you on sight and kill you, and once you get that bad player tag, other players can attack you as well, taking the loot that you worked hard for by stealing from somebody else. So being a criminal really is high risk, high reward. All that being said, I'll leave this one up to you. Is the full loot system a good or bad thing? Let me know in the comments below. Now after a full week of playing Mortal Online 2, I truly do believe it is worth playing. Even with the idea of losing my loot in PvP, I still find myself wanting to sit down on a daily basis and play the game. So I personally believe it is worth my time. Do you think it's worth yours? Let me know down below. And if you found the hidden phrase for the giveaway, comment below and join my Discord. It's linked in the description. Other than that, I hope all you happy little souls have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one.